Someone asked me the question, why did you leave? I started working for this one family and I really grew to love them. Thought they were super awesome. So this family's mom, she got cancer and um, so I found out that she was gonna die. And just all that just kind of really made me sad. And I started just feeling lonely and every time my dad would say something, um, negative about that family. Oh man, it just was so hard on me. So it really made me start hating my dad. Um, I started kind of looking at the, playing with the idea of leaving and looking at myself. I'm like, I can't, I can't believe that I'm that horrible of an Amish person that I would even consider leaving. Um, he said, okay, beans, you know everything. You need to whip me. I just couldn't take it, being in trouble all the time, never being good enough. So through all that, I, I really started looking for a way out. How, how would I leave? I, I started looking up, trying to find someone's phone number, someone that I know would help me. But of course, who would help me? I, I didn't know, I had no way of contacting anyone, but, excuse me, earlier that year, someone had dated my sister, and then my dad had got involved, and then he left the Amish, and that had really put a bad taste for all of the Amish communities towards my dad, and especially in his children, so me and my brothers and sisters. Um, we, we really didn't like our dad much at that point. So, but I really looked up to this guy, and I, I was like, okay, well, I wish I could get a hold of him. So I, I tried to, um, I tried to, I, I called someone, a friend of him, um, was seeing if, if somehow I could reach, get, or get out, reach, get a hold of him. But through all this, um, I realized that, you know, my parents were going to find out because I was up at the neighbor several times to make, try to make phone calls. I knew my parents were going to find out and I was so scared because, well, obviously it's against the rules to make phone calls unless emergency situations and this was not considered an emergency situation. But not only that, the fact that I wanted to leave and the fact that I wanted to talk to someone that, um, in their minds, if you leave the Amish, you're going to hell. So the fact that I wanted to talk to someone that was going, you know, I just knew that, okay, this is, that basically put me into the point where I said, okay, I can't stay because if I do, they're going to find out and then they're, I'm going to get in so much trouble. So I was just scared and I knew, at that point, I knew that the church was going to start getting involved because I was getting at that age and that they would play lots of emotional games. Um, things like that, just play with me, um, with the mind, punish that way, I just couldn't stand that. Um, I even think of a time when um, I was just so super depressed and I went to work for my uncle and uh, him yelling at his children for things that I did, you know, like I might have done something that I thought I should do, like let's say I, you know, I planned something a certain way, the way I thought I was supposed to, and then he would yell at his son. And, you know, right out in front of everyone, he would just get on him so hard and he would just eat at me, it would make me so angry. Well, anyways, this happened one time and later that day when I went home, I told my mom, I was like, look, I don't want to live. I'm done. I, I'm sick of everything that's going on. And she's just like, oh, don't talk like that, you know, kind of brush it away, whatever. And it just, through all of that, I felt like I wasn't loved. I wouldn't, didn't need to be there anymore. Um, <laughs> another funny story is... Um, my parents would always, I would dish out a bunch of food and then my parents would say, no, you're eating too much, John, and they would take it away from me. And just different things like that that irritated me like all the time because, you know, I felt like I was under pressure all the time. So, and there's even a lot more things that I could mention that, you know, that contributed to the fact that I wanted to leave. Anyway, so all this coming down, June 28, I'm 17, or I was going to turn 17 the following day. I decided, okay, I'm, I'm totally done. I have to leave. So a couple days later, um, I had visited the um, neighbors, trying to get a hold of my, waited a week, visited them again, but still knowing that my parents were going to find it out. And then July 11, on my brother's birthday, yeah, I know that, that was kind of lame, but 
I went out for one last time, decided that I was going to, if, if I couldn't get a hold of them, I'd have to leave anyways, because at this point, my parents were so sure to find out in just a few days. And I was like, okay, this, this has to be it. So obviously that night, I ran out, ran away, um, ran through the woods. I ran almost 14 miles that first night, slept in a barn and all that. A lot, a lot of crazy things happened. You can check all that out. I wrote about it as well on johntrock.com forward slash I left. Um, I will be discussing some more of these things in the future. Please continue to ask me questions. I will continue to answer them. Next week I've got some more um, things that, I've, that I need to answer still. So please continue watching my videos, liking. Um, thank you for the support on Facebook. Uh, thank you for the fact that you're helping me make this a success. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions. And make sure to come back next week for more.